Welcome back. Now we can also use cards in much the same way as we're using in screens to promote our other content. So if we click this link that says cards, that'll take us to another similar screen. And what's going to happen is we're going to need to pick some places inside of our video where we're going to give the viewers a brief glimpse of a link they can click to watch some of our other content. So for example, we can decide that at the 11 minute point, we're going to add a card. We're going to make that card one of our videos, and then we're going to click on the video. What we're going to do then is we're going to write in a custom message. So in this case, we might write in, and then we're going to click create card. Now what's going to happen is when this point comes in the video, your viewers are going to see this information piece and all they'll need to do is they click on it. They're then going to be able to click on this card and then click this link to see what you have given them to click on. You can add in some other cards. For example, maybe further into the video, what you're going to do is you're going to click add another card and it's going to be another video. And then you're going to click the video. You're going to write in a custom message and then you're going to click create card. And then at this point in the video, your viewers are going to see this area. They click on it. They're then going to have this information where they can click and go to another video. So cards obviously have more to them than all of those things. However, if you're trying to get people to see more of your content, then you'll definitely want to use cards and then exercise the capacity you have to drive people to some of your other content. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.